Welcome to Comic Graphic number two. Alright, so this is my only video I'm going to make tonight. I've already posted two other videos. So, apparently, this shit keeps happening. So, I don't know what the hell's wrong with the school system. But, you know, um, fuck y'all. Because, um, when the hell in the dress code system since 1993... If you're not allowed to be you, and your ethnic background didn't stand in the way of you getting your diploma. There's been two cases that come across my FYP on TikTok, Instagram, whatever the hell you call it, one of these social medias. And I'm highly pissed off. As a person who is mixed, who is part Cherokee, who is part black, and who is part white, I would like to crawl out on these racist-ass schools and principles and ethics that you apparently don't have. Um, I didn't get a choice in my gender or my ethnicity. As a 47-year-old grown man, I am appalled at the shit that the kids are going through right now. I'm a Generation Xer. If we would have probably thought about bringing a Cherokee flag or an African pride flag or whatever to our school, I don't think we would have had much of a big damn deal with it, you know, because we had other shit going on. You know, racism was always a thing, but I sure wasn't going to graduate with that. Uh, my name's not Chief on the back of my fucking, um, my cap and gown. And the reason why I reference that is because when I worked at Kegler's while I was in high school, some white fella wouldn't stop calling me Chief. That's why I referenced that. I'm pretty sure that if I painted my gown red, white, and blue and painted a shield on it where I would be Captain America, I'm pretty sure... They probably wouldn't have said nothing, because for all they knew, it was just the American flag represented by a dumbass black kid. Alright? But today, in today's world, where being proud of your ethnicity is a fucking crime, there's something wrong with y'all, man. There's, there's seriously something wrong with y'all. When you, as a kid of Mexican descent, or of any ethnicity whatsoever, can't come to school and be proud of your heritage. I'm multicultural. I got three heritages. And I'm not always proud of them. I'll, I'll be the first to tell you there are just as many bad Native Americans as there are good Native Americans. There are just as many bad black people as there are good black people. There are just as many white people that are bad as good white people. You can't weed them all out. Granted. But this shit with the school system, like literally, this shit with the school system is unacceptable. And just think, 18, 19-year-old James would have still got his diploma. I would have caved. I would have apologized. Because the fact of the matter is that I'm multicultural. My dumb ass wouldn't have been able to come up with a flag or a sign that could represent my Cherokee side, my black side, and my white side. What I'm going to do is show up with a fucking zebra suit. Because I have been called the zebra at least once or twice in my life as well. Yeah, yeah. If you're mixed... And you're just black and white, you've been a zebra. You might not want to admit it. Yeah. You know, it's the same thing as like when Harold and Kumar um, revived the word Twinkie. If you were Asian, but you were an Americanized Asian, so you act like a white person versus a black person, they used to call you a Twinkie. All right? Well, I was never a Twinkie. I was never a ho ho. I was a zebra. I was a chief. I was a half breed. I was a mutt. So, I could have probably made a sign with all that shit. And I probably would have still got my diploma. But nowadays, it is uh, clearly okay to be racist. Clearly. Clearly, somewhere along the line, the racist people have taken over the asylum. And said, you know what? Let's be racist. If a Chinese person gets a Chinese flag, and they're American, and they're going to an American school, and they try to hold up the Chinese flag when they graduate, let's keep them from getting the diploma. For Mexican, Iranian, or anybody under the sun, Filipino, Hawaiian, decide they want to do that, let's call it a racist. Let's not let them get the diploma that they've earned with all the time that they spent under the tutelage of some people who don't really give a damn if you graduate or not. 
because they're still going to get paid whether you graduate or not. Graduation is important so you will have a future. Sorry for the alarm. But to be denied the thing you've earned from kindergarten to the 12th grade of high school, you put in your work, you put in your time, your grades fluctuate, and you get to that stand and you start walking in because you whipped out a Mexican flag. They don't want to give you the diploma. The one that came across was about a girl this time. And she pulled out whatever her flag was. They deleted her from the Facebook thing. They totally edited her out. Unacceptable. Unfucking acceptable. Unfucking believable. Now, as I say on these things many a times, I don't have the right to be a racist because I am multicultural. I am the hybrid of America. I am Native American. I am black. I am white. Biologically, Native Americans are Asian, so that covers everybody. But it's a fucked up ass thing when a young man or a young woman can't get their damn diploma after busting their ass to get through school. You know, it ain't easy being in school. All the teachers, you graduated, you went to college, how else could you have gotten your job as a teacher? Because this isn't the like 30s and 40s where they just, hey, you want to be a teacher? Yeah, here you go. Uh, can you read and write? Yeah, here you go. Now you have a teaching job. Your job is to teach kids how to read and write. Hey, you want to be a teacher? Yeah, can you do math? Yes. Good. Two plus two. Four. Four plus four. Twenty-four. There you go. You're going to be a math teacher. Wasn't like the 30s and the 40s. If you were a teacher, your dumbass went to school. Then you went to college. You got your little degree and your piece of paper. And you started submitting your applications into teaching jobs. Year and a half later, you're busting your ass. You're making a good impression on your boss. You got your nice tie and your suit on. And if you're a lady, you got your scoop, your suit shirt on and your dress skirt and all this other shit. You're prancing around and you got your little degree and you got your damn job and you're making so much an hour per monthly or whatever it is you're doing. And you busted your ass the same way these kids are busting their ass. But see, unlike us, Generation Xers and the baby boomers before them, we weren't brave enough to make these kind of stands. Hell, we didn't even know we could make these kinds of stands. When I was in school, I had to deal with bullying. Bullying because I'm small. Bullying because I'm not getting vagina sandwiches from hot chicks, because hot chicks would never even give me a second look. Bullying because I'm mixed. You name it, I was probably bullied about it. But my bullies would never show up to fight me in Washington Park, Forest Hill Park, behind Venerable School, um, behind Walker School, behind Buford School. It, it, you, you're a really brave person when you're a bully, but if you turn the B and bully upside down, it's still a B. And that B stands for bitch. And not the military kind where you're a brave infantry tactical combat hero. And not the dick, which is in the military type where you're a dedicated infantry combat killer. That's me. My dog tags are real. My cat card's over there. But these kids... In all their glory, deciding, hey, I'm not going to turn away my ethnicity. I'm a proud Mexican, and I bust my ass. Have every right to celebrate who I am, what I am. And here comes Jim Crow laws of school. Because you put that Mexican flag out there, son. You're not going to graduate. Or you, you graduated, but you're not going to get your diploma. And I'm going to take my sexy little ass and go back in there and call the police. And then the officer, big pants, comes up. Hey, son, this, this is bad, and we're going to arrest you, and we're going to shoot you. We're going to draw guns on a 17-year-old kid because he wanted to graduate. This isn't a Mexican flag, but this is a towel with his Mexican flag. And you tell me where in the fuck in the world do y'all think this is okay? I'm James Williams Jr. Let that shit sink in. Thanks for watching. Be seeing you. Stop being a fucking racist.